Hi Sagittarius. Thanks again for joining me, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please feel free uh, to contact me if you'd like a private reading. Okay. Okay. All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is money, things coming up in your physical realm, asking for funds, uh, participating in charities. Someone asking you for help, being in a good financial position, starting a charity, getting involved in charities, lending money to a friend, a person. And it's interesting that we have the Justice card down here. I'm not sure how well you can see him, but this indicates that maybe you've been involved in a legal matter of some sort, Sagittarius, or, you know, it doesn't have to be a court case of some kind, but anything to do with creditors, the legal system, judicial courts. Uh, money, creditors, governments, banks, etc. This means that money is coming to you and I'm seeing that if you've asked for funds or you're waiting for funds at some sort of settlement, it could be settlement of a house, settlement of funds, settlement of a will, uh, a divorce settlement of some kind, any money that's being owed to you or that's legally, uh, le legally and rightfully yours, you will be receiving most definitely here with the Nine of Pentacles. This is you being very happy with the money that you will be receiving and you'll have lots of it happy days especially now what else do we see with the six of pentacles six of pentacles could indicate a partner that's asking you for money if this is in regards to love then i feel as though you might be spending uh, more on your partner and they might be spending equally the same on you actually because there's fairness here with the scales i mean this could be a libra that could indicate that but there's someone here that's not off there's not a that's not as well off as uh well off as you and this could indicate you offering them help now it doesn't necessarily have to be financial although it can be this could also indicate that you provide them solace of some kind because pentacles really are the physical realm and this is you offering help to someone you could be offering to help them move you could be offering to help them shop help them go to visit a hospital like if you're caring for someone so this is you offering a lot of help and this is helping offer to you and it could most definitely be connected with someone that you're looking after and you're caring for i mean maybe if you're a carer or you have someone elderly a mother father grandfather grandmother an aunt an uncle that's someone that's ill maybe this is you because you've got the 10 10 of wands here and you're working very hard there's a lot of things for you to do but i'm seeing it's more connected with a financial situation and definitely something with an authority case a settlement of some kind legalities here with a justice card you're awaiting some funds here Maybe you've just asked for a loan this month or you have in the previous months and you'll get an approval this month. I mean, and you will celebrate most definitely because of this approval. This could be going towards something big, a business, a house, a trip. I'm seeing it's more to do with home and money, not so much an overseas venture or anything. But moving on, we have the Ten of Wands. This is you carrying the burden. This is you doing a lot of work. If this is at in your professional career, then I feel as though you will be working harder than usual. Please do not overwhelm yourself. You will be receiving the money for it if you're commission-based. But just don't overwhelm yourself because there are people in these cards that are a little bit ill here. And this could indicate just a minor illness, you being run down because of all your hard work. With the Ten of Wands, this could, if this is in a relationship, I feel as though you'll be working hard at your relationship uh, really trying to make it everything that you want it to be most definitely this could indicate that you want that happy family home and you talk to your partner about it and you're really trying to direct yourself and this relationship in that way most definitely i mean this could also indicate a lot of clients in your professional sphere the ten of wands a lot of correspondence you doing a lot of things with your partner this month, visiting a lot of places. I see visiting a lot of family. So you could be visiting a lot of family with your partner, their, your in-laws, your parents, your siblings, etc. Talking to a lot of people. I mean, you do have a beautiful family sitting here, over here as well with the Ten of Cups. Absolutely beautiful. This could indicate family reunions, family coming to visit you getting money to start that new family um, in, in the terms of IVF or uh, getting a new house, a settlement for a new house, buying land, buying property, putting your children into good schooling. And the 10, you've got two 10s here 
really good beginning, new beginning. Ten comes down uh, to the one, really strong beginning of something new here. So these funds, or you helping someone, will change something in a really, really big way, Sagittarius. Now, moving on, we have the Justice card, and I feel as though the Justice and the Six of Pentacles really govern this reading. Now, with the Justice card, this could indicate, as I've mentioned previously, that you are awaiting some sort of settlement, some sort of uh, outcome from an authority place, a green card it could be, because you do have different lands around you here. A green card, it could be a settlement for money, for homes, for help of some kind. Maybe you've seeked charitable help to help you and your family. Um... This could, in a love situation, I feel as though this could indicate some sort of settlement going on between you and your partner. This could mean that you're combining accounts and buying a house. This could mean that your partner or yourself is involved in a court case of some kind, an ongoing court case where you've previously needed funds to pay off your lawyers. Also by the justice, um, this could be uh, uh, talking to law firms. Again, settling some kind of money here. This could also indicate that you might be... Uh, not to say in trouble with the law, but I would advise that you uh, just be careful with what you're doing. You know, if you are doing anything taboo or you are speeding or something, this could indicate a minor arrest. So, you know, even when an officer pulls you over and just says, hey, did you know you're going too fast or something like that? Or your, or your tail lights are out or something. So that could indicate just a minor stop like that um, with the justice card. But in, in, in another aspect, you could sort of read it as a... A karmic card because the justice is you know it's karma it's serving you justice there's fairness here so maybe you're dealing with the Libra maybe you're dealing with an air sign Earth. I mean there's there's air there's earth and there's fire in these cards and you do have a bit of water also so there's a lot of people you might be dealing with but if you are dealing with someone that hasn't been fair and you've been carrying the burden and doing all the hard work here with the ten of wands now is the time for justice, so justice will prevail this month in whatever aspect. Maybe someone's been unfair to you, maybe this is a boss, but justice will prevail. I feel like if this is a boss, this is someone quite fair around you. This is someone quite fair, or fairness and justice will be served to them and to you. So whatever that, that has been going on, if it's in regards to money and you've been you know, stripped off your legal rights of some sort, that will change because you have a really good outcome here with the Ten of Cups. You have a positive outcome and you've got money here, you're happy, you've got your family around you, you've got money, but there's also a bit of duality. You may be presented with uh, the duality with the Two of Swords here. There's anxiety, duality, emotional turbulence here. This could indicate that you're emotionally unstable regarding this issue that's been ongoing perhaps for a while now. And you've constantly asked for help and you've done the hard yards and you've done the correspondence and you've approached everyone you need to with the two of swords but this could indicate that you may be presented with a couple of options here in this matter but whatever the options are or whatever the options you do take it either way it will both result in what you want in your earthly result in a physical result it could be money i mean this does the pentacles does govern money however it could be just whatever it is the settlement the contract the house the deeds whatever it is that the funds whatever it is that you're asking for I mean, this could also, um, I'm just picking up, this could also mean that in your workplace, perhaps you may be asked to choose to take sides with something that's going on. Maybe your workplace is undergoing a, a lawsuit of some kind or someone that's undergoing a court case and you will be required to witness in some sense and ask for your opinion. I feel as though that might be coming through for you and you'll be conflicted as to which road to take, which route to uh take which which side to vouch for in a sense so this could be picking sides as well if this is regarding a love situation i feel as though there could be conflict with an air sign sagittarius what else am i picking up i mean there's duality here you may have to choose between two people one that's fair and perhaps one that's not or maybe you've just been unfair to someone and you've been seeing two people at the same time and maybe this is the month to choose, to choose one and say, hey, I'm going to be committed to you because it's unfair what you're doing if that is what you are actually doing. 
But with this duality, I'm seeing two sides. I mean, I'm seeing the legal battles or the settlements or the contracts, etc. But on the other side of the spectrum, over here, we have the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. You're happy, you're blessed, you're abundant, you're joyful, you're grateful, you're productive, you're fecund. And that's really beautiful. Despite this hard work and conflict, you know, you have two sides, a lot of duality here. And also with the Nine of Pentacles, this really is a beautiful blessing. I mean, you've got a lush opportunity, funds, money around you here. And it's beautiful that it's the last card because this normally indicates, almost crowns the reading, the last card, sets the undertone for the reading, the beginning of the last card. So, I mean, if you, all in all, if you are asking for funds, I feel as though you will get them. You may have to provide a lot of documents, paperwork, correspondence, and you may feel emotionally held back by it or if this is a settlement of some sort with the legal system, a judge, a lawyer, the wheels of fate are turning and justice will be delivered, whatever it is that's going on, whatever unfair situation you are in, you know, the scales the scales weigh evenly here. And you've, you've got two scales in these cards, so that's really big for you. That's coming through quite potent. And if you don't have any legal battles or systems or, you know, you're waiting on any outcomes, I want to advise you that you need to be extra careful because you may be approached... You may have to be a witness to someone in a legal battle. You may be approached by an officer. You may be fined. It could be something like that. So you need to be extra careful with the law this month. If this is regarding a love situation, I feel as though maybe you and your partner, you and your boyfriend, girlfriend are asking for money to create that happy family home. You're providing all the documents, paperwork. You will get the funds. Beautiful outcome here with the nine of uh, pentacles. And you're very happy here. You've got it. You can start your new beginning. You've got family around you here. This could indicate maybe you're traveling overseas or, you know, something to do with a family property, a family will, a family inheritance. There's a bit of duality here in hard work, but you will get there most definitely. What will this justice bring you when justice is served? Fertility. Okay, absolutely beautiful. Priestess of fertility is someone that is just that. They're fertile. They're productive. This doesn't necessarily have to be... <laughs> in the in a pregnancy sense i mean maybe you are in a divorce case and you're uh you're fighting over custody of children i mean that could be it but really this justice when justice is served it's bringing you fertility so it's going to bring you a lot of options this is what you've been waiting for and it's going to create a world for you that has a lot of options and you'll be very happy you'll be very stable settled you'll have funds you have security around you so justice card is bringing you fertility options opportunities so once you get this outcome, you'll have a lot of opportunities presented to you. I mean, maybe it's a green card, maybe it's a visa, maybe it's a travel visa, maybe it's a, it's a, a, the deed to a home, a settlement of some kind, a divorce settlement, a legal battle, a compensation, a work and compensation case. Fertile, it shows good opportunity. You're protected here. There's motherly, uh, motherly energy around uh, the, the priestess of fertility. So maybe you're being guided by a motherly figure, a mother, an aunt, an older sibling. Someone that has a very maternal nature about them and can provide you with good advice. Someone in your family or in your family circle, perhaps. What else do we see? Priestesses, tell us what else. What else, priestesses, tell us. Okay, so we have healing. So you will heal from this. There's healing here. There's healing from a settlement, a court settlement. There's healing from money. You know, if you've been down on funds, there's healing from hard work. There's healing from thoughts, from family. Absolutely beautiful, the priestess of healing here. Angels, blessings, the universe. It's beautiful to see. So you will heal. Whatever whatever it is that's been going on for you, you're healing. You're moving on. Sorry about the drilling. You're moving on. You're, you're healing from things. You know what you want out of life. You know what you don't want. You're filtering out what you don't need. Especially with the Justice card, karma and healing together, absolutely beautiful. Karma, healing and happiness. What more could you ask for? Beautiful cards to get. Healing in relationships even, this karma, justice will be served. If someone's been unfair, this is the time to act and change and healing is being brought to you.